Hey guys, greetings. How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinal TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. This is HP Deskjet Plus 4130. 4130 to be precise. You can also call it 4100 series. Okay. This printer is multifunctional, multi tax, triple in one if you like, in the sense that you can copy, scan, and print from this gear. This printer is basically dual band. You can connect it via Wi Fi network and also via USB cable. Unfortunately, there is no USB cable that came with this printer, so you need to get one okay i have the usb cable at home this is what it looks like this is the usb cable i'm going to put up a link how you can get this usb cable from amazon.co.uk if you live in united kingdom but you can get it anywhere and this universal basically canon can use this usb cable epson can use it brothers can use it. other printers make okay can use it so this usb cable goes at the back here It goes at the back here and this section goes to your PC okay and this is by the way this printer is connected to HP smart app so we actually don't need the cable uh, the USB cable so this is the paper tray if you check my video you see how we loaded the paper tray complete the alignment head okay and I want to show you some of the features for this printer you turn this printer on and off from this here from the first button on your right is the on and off button and after that the next button is to copy black after the next button it will be to copy color and you can see lcd screen inside this lcd screen you will see the ink cartridges gauge okay you will see two lines to show you the gauge for the ink cartridges and also you see zero that zero is for number of jobs you selected. If you want to copy, stick your document on the scanner and tap this two or three and the number will change. And after that, you will see also, it will show you that this printer is connected via HP Smart App. Okay, it will show your mobile device in, in on the screen, on the screen and also show you the measurement for the Wi-Fi network. This printer is connected to Wi-Fi. This steady blue light on is on. If the blue light is flashing, it means that the Wi-Fi is not yet connected. And after Wi-Fi button, you see the information button. Information button, it will ask you to press this button to see it or to check your proximity. Okay, basically to find out where you are. So sometimes if you check my video, how we connected this printer to Wi-Fi network, we press the information button once. Okay, and he picked up the signal for this printer and after that the next button is to resume and after the next resume button is to cancel so this is the features for this printer okay and also the end cartridges goes right in here this printer is using 305 hp ink once you open it up it will come right in the middle for you to change it okay so this is the features and full top for this printer what I want us to do right now is to scan a document, okay? Sometimes I get this question, you know, how do you scan your document on this printer and also how do you send it, okay? I'm going to show you, okay, what we have here is a book I love, Anything You Want by Derek Silva, 40 Lesson for New Kind of Entrepreneurs. It's just a book I love to read, okay? I love reading. So I'm going to stick this book okay as a demo so stick this book stick your id card or your document you want to scan on the scanner okay and what you need to do is then you go to the hp smart app okay and once you go back to the app click on the app be remember that we loaded the ink loaded the paper tray complete the alignment okay and once you've done that it will tell you on the app that this printer is ready okay from this app right now this printer is ready so what we need to do is from the app actually you can also get ink delivered to your home okay also you also have private pickup 
printable smart tax mobile fax camera scan help and support so you can summon for help okay it will take you to the website hp website print photos okay and also print document print scanner and also copy what i want us to do is to scan a document so we have this book right in on the scanner so click on the scanner so when you click on the scanner okay it will start going around okay and it recognize the paper we have here is a4 paper is what we have here if we have different paper then you select you change it by clicking this once tap on that once if you tap it if you go back it's right now on a4 if you tap on it it gives you the bus option for you to change it to letter 5 by 7 4 by 6 3.5 by 5 inch okay paper paper you have or we have a4 select a4 you can also select pre view or pre-scan okay it will scan this document for you to see if you're happy with it then you carry on if you don't have if you're not happy then you delete it so i'm going to select pre-scan it will start fetching the scanner so what it's doing right now is fetching the scan here we go this is the book we scan the original one is here if you're happy or anything you want to change then you can change you can adjust it okay you can adjust the size for instance you can bring the size okay you, you see what i've done so but you can also move it completely okay if you're happy with so you can uh, custom and select a particular so it's f4 okay the next thing you need to do is click scan and it will scan this book completely okay so this job is now done so we scan the first page if you want to scan, scan another document for instance you turn this round okay and close it the same procedure you on the app press this plus sign okay and once you press the plus sign click scan again okay and you will start okay so we scan two pages of this book the outer cover okay the front and back so here is this book we scan okay this is the first one second one if you want to delete it from the app okay you press you can see delete button this red okay you press on it and you will delete okay so the next thing for us to do is if you want us to send this book we scan to somebody okay the next thing you need to do is click share once you click share then you select the format if it's a photo it will be jpj but book or paper document usually pdf okay so you can actually change the size file size to actual size to medium to small okay i want to leave it to because the actual size is 0 0.8 i want to leave it to 0 0.5 medium the next thing you need to do is click share if you click share it gives you the option to send it share it via email or whatsapp or yahoo mail so i'm going to send email now it's on my email as pdf you type the email address for the person you want to send this book to type the subject hi the next thing you need to do is click send 
and they will tell you sending email is sent already now our job here is done you come up from the app okay and go to your inbox and look go to your email address and look for this book okay what i'm doing right now i'm going to my email address yahoo email address here we go this is the book very fast is there already on my inbox click download is downloading and click it open okay this is the first one this is the second one so is there this is the first one inside my inbox if you want to print this out okay you can actually select print you can print it from here but also you can also print it from the app okay right now it's inside my inbox click print now it's loading document okay now you need to make sure you select the particular printer we have here okay the printer we have here is dash jet plus 4100 4000 series so you click on it and look for hp dash jet 4100 okay it's what we're looking for select it Okay, make sure it's the printer. You may need to approve this connection with your printer. Okay. Print. So you need to make sure you select the correct printer. Sometimes if you cannot find it from doing that way, you can go back inside the app, okay? Go back to the HP app. Inside the app, okay, we look for scan a document, okay? Once you scan the document, I want to do this again. Okay, so it's scanning this document right now. Okay, so you can select print. Okay, and this printer is already there. The next thing you need to do is, okay, sometimes people ask me, how do you do automatic um, two-side printing, for instance. So you can see what we have here. You can select color, black or white or color. So we have it color, okay. The paper we have here is A4 paper. Orientation is automatic, okay. Now, if you select more option, once you select more option, you click quality, automatic scaling okay you select field page or fit okay and also the next thing for us to do is if it's photo you select photo okay so what we have here is document then you go back okay and the next thing you need to do is click print it will print this Okay, here it is. Okay, so this is the book we scan and printed it out. You can also change it. It's right now it's color, but you can change it if you want to print black, for instance. Okay, you can actually select it to print black. Okay, so you go to color, change it to black and white. It will change and select print.
okay hey hey is so this black this is the color okay now this is how to scan your document print and share via email if you're happy with this tutorial please smash the like button share this video with your friends and family thank you very much and stay blessed thank you